Hello, hello, and welcome to Soul Topio TV. This is your host, Michelle Welch, with... I'm Roger Welch and Matt Stoker over there. Hello. How's everybody doing? Uh, good. Busy, busy, busy. Getting mm. ready for Reader Studio. Yeah, it's been a lot. Yes. That's my word. A is lot? That two words? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll be glad for that to happen and be over with. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're looking forward to seeing everyone, but it is a lot of hard work. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, so um, it is at the end of this month, and you're leaving Saturday, right, Roger? That is correct. Yeah, so yep. we are almost through April. Can you believe it? I know. So tonight we are doing what? We are doing game night, and so playing we Playing games. Playing games with everybody, having a little fun with everybody. And let's see. Here. Did you ever spend your gift card, Matt? Did I have you? not. I well, need to. Well, he's just saving it. Yeah. I know. Well, you know, I was looking at those little uh, those little orbs uh, last time, and I thought yep. those were mm -hmm. pretty cool. So maybe maybe that. I don't know. There's a lot. There's too much good stuff um, to to choose from. That's the problem. A lot. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, what are we playing first or not? Are we going right into it so we can get a well, bunch of games can. in? We or we want to so wait make sure are, pop, pop so on? So we're going to definitely do a couple, give you guys time to log in. Remember, tonight we're doing Cahoots, so you do need to have your phone and have the Cahoots app. And you can actually do that. I'll kick that underneath the table. Um, <laughs> you can actually do Cahoots from your phone or from a laptop, iPad, or anything else. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. You can watch on Facebook, get the number, and just log in and answer the questions as we go along. Yeah. And <clears throat> so first place gets a $10 gift card, second place $15 gift card, and, well, I'm sorry, first place is a $20 gift card, second place is a $15 gift card, and third place a $10 gift card. Okay. So Sultopia. what are those again? First place? First place, $20. Okay. Second place, 15 Third place, 10 because how many rounds we're playing as many rounds we're as we can play if two we get rounds, started. A half a round. A half a round. That's what we're talking. A half a round. Okay, I don't know. So that way we don't have to do half a gift card. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, all right. we're gonna play at so least a couple of rounds, if not three it all depends on how how many of these questions we get through. Now we need to make it real clear, or am I totally wrong? Since y'all need to be on Kahoot that has K A H O O T exclamation point. Mm -hmm. It's a free app. It looks like this on the, the website. Right. And I think it's Kahoot.it if you're wanting to just search Kahoot online and it'll take you to yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the web. Uh, or if you have the app that looks like this, then you can use that. And y'all, it's really fun to play. So if you want to share this really fast with your friends or anyone, do so because it's, um, the it's more, fun. The more people we have, the more fun it is. The less chance you have of winning. So share, share, share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, right. So now it, it's a lot of fun. So let's get started. You want to? And oh, where do they need to? They're going to answer on Kahoot, but so it doesn't matter where they're answering from because they're on Kahoot. Yeah. Right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't okay. matter. Where they have to answer in Kahoot because it got, it, at the end, give you a Don't little, try little, to answer in the comment section. Don't answer in the comment section. You can comments. answer in the comment section. It yeah. just won't register. You got to be on Kahoot. chit chat in the comment section as much as you want. Uh, but true. as far as winning, and it is based on the correct answer and speed. Speed. So hit that right answer and you got to be fast. Answers about it. it fast, mm -hmm. and yeah. some of them will have pictures and some of them won't. And you kicked yourself, and now I dropped my glasses. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not sure I'll need them, but all right, I'm getting them. Here we go. It's a big reach. Okay, so are we ready? All right. I asked if there was anything we need to know about that was going in the, on in the world today, and apparently not. So we're going to play games. <laughs> I'm sure. And if there was anything, I apologize. If there's so, Matt, I'm going to give you the pin know. number so you can show everybody. Is that correct? Yeah, I'll put it up here on screen, and uh, All right, so people should this, be able to see this. This first pin number, first game is 739-5915. 739-5915. And here's three nine five nine one five. That's Sorry right. Sorry about that. And here's my suggestion: if you come in late, go ahead and play, and just know there'll be another game coming. Okay. Well, maybe we can throw that in the comments or something on. Seven three nine fifty nine fifteen. 
So I'm going to go okay. ahead. Okay. Uh, All right. Let me is see. everybody ready? Connect. I got like we got three people in there, so you guys That's better it? jump in there. That's it. That's all that's playing. Kelly, no, they're still Nikki. coming. Yeah, we got some more got, coming. Kelly, more where are you? Um, this is the night to be watching Soltopia TV. If you want to win, win, win. Yep. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Pin number seven three nine five nine one five. Okay. Okay. All, all right. right, guys. And I know more people are watching because I've seen them. Y'all, do y'all cannot? Can y'all not log in, or you just don't want to play? Okay. Are we ready? Want to give All right, a few so minutes we'll or give you going? guys just a few seconds there. Mm -hmm. Yep, because there comes Angie. Yeah, I know there's yep. some more people. I Kelly's saw on. Kelly's on there. I saw her popping on. Yeah. Oh, come on, get in here. Come yep. on. You want to win. Right. Um, let's see. All right. Let's see. So, time out. Okay. What's that? I said time out. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get this one started, guys. Here it comes. Okay. And it is ready to go. So the cool thing of this one is, is this is one for crystals. Yay, yay, yay. Here we go. What type of crystal is this? The little bitty tiny crystal is what that is. It's a pretty big, quartz, actually, because I did this A peach quartz, a clear quartz, or a smoky quartz. Mm. Y'all better not miss this one. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and bams. Everybody got Bam. it. Row, 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 and so Matt's not getting to play. He's showing who his screen. Right, I'm sure he would have gotten that one right. So we have. Right. I think I would have gotten that oh, one right. Oh, look at that. Now remember, time matters. So That's right. you, you may think fast. it's easy, but you got to go fast. Yep. All right, okay. here comes number two. And what type of crystal is this? And there you go. Amethyst, clear quartz, smoky quartz, or sage? Or is it a rocket ship? It looks like a rocket about to take off. That's what we should have put in there, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Three, two, one. And we've got... Wait, who, who got that one? Everybody got that correct uh, with clear quartz. It so was clear, clear quartz. Clear quartz. Yep. Yep. Right. Okay. Here, Here comes the next one. I didn't write these, obviously. They're easy. Merrick jumped to the lead on it. <laughs> and the mean writer. Top of crystal is this. That's all right. I, we got, we got okay. some more. That's fun. a little guy. Fluorite, yeah. moonstone, amethyst, or jasper. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. I like those points. Mm -hmm. Little cluster points. Yep. And the answer is everybody got this one right. Yep. Amethyst. Who's winning? Yep. All right. Okay. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. Rose moved up. Merritt's still in the lead. Okay. Nikki's here we go. Right there behind. All right. Here we go. Next one. What type of crystal? Y'all are all gonna get this one. Moonstone. I would have made this one tricky. Moonstone, jade, red jasper, garnet, or opalite. That would have made it tricky. Yeah, but it doesn't say opalite up there. I know. I said I would have made it hard if I opalite. Could have put a cat's eye on it. Made uh -huh. it real hard. So it's a moonstone, moonstone right? That's right. Moonstone okay. it is. Let's see. Oof. Kelly jumped up. All right. Here so, we go. All right. Here. Ready? You go. We've got lots of rounds we can play. What about this one? Oh, it's pretty is what it is. Aquamarine, fluorite, which is misspelled, citrine, or onyx. <laughs> good thing I didn't spell those out. You didn't write those? I didn't write those. Okay, good. Aquamarine, fluorite, citrine, onyx. I don't know if I'm reading those in the right order or if you read across or it doesn't matter. Matt, are you have you gotten them all right so far? Um, I think so. In my head, I'm just gonna say. In your head. So we got yeah, three got that You're one right. Be honest, if you get them, if you don't. Yep. All right. Aquamarine, it was. Anybody miss that one? No. Oh, yeah. uh, we had a. I it could have been a miss hit. Yeah. But there you go. We got Nikki. Nikki jumped up on that one. All right. Here we go. There it goes. Question number six. How many questions are there? Seventeen. Okay, that's a good weird number. Angelite. Onyx, chevron amethyst, or garnet? Darn it. These Darn it, garnet. So garnet, easy. Garnet. This is a good warm it's up one, y'all. Good warm up. Yes, it is. 
Okay. And the answer is... Chevron Amethyst. Chevron Amethyst. Yep. And let's see who's good. Oh. What they there put? There we go. Merit's still in the lead. Nikki's are, and Leslie's are right behind her. Okay. She's trying to catch they her. They all know their crystals. Um, all right. So we've got citrine, onyx, aventurine, or garnet. Dun, 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 That's dun, pretty dun. easy. We need. We should have music. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we need like some sort of uh, test music. Some of them know. actually have music. It does. There you go. Hmm. Play it. So, it was adventuring. Green adventuring. Yep. It's a little bit dark. <coughs> it, it was. was it was a little darker yeah. one. Yep. So you could see the mica in it. Leslie okay. jumped up on that one, though. Woo -woo. <coughs> Excuse me. And All the right. Next one. Number eight. You're not going to play that background music? Oh, you are. Onyx, lavender, clear quartz, or smoky quartz. Well, that is a horrible picture. Yes, it say. is. I would have that to agree. That is one Kinda ugly picture of that poor fill in the blank. It's just like it's a bead because of the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was actually onyx. That was an onyx. Oh, tricky, tricky. Yeah. It was gotcha. ugly. Uh-oh, Leslie took over first place. Mm -hmm. She's on a streak. She's got an eight-answer streak going for her. Okay. All right, so here we go, next? guys. Question nine. What type of crystal is this? Yellow on this, right? Turquoise, topaz, blue quartz, or aquamarine? Topaz. Topaz. If it's just T A P A S. Topaz. <laughs> like Making food? me hungry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could eat some topaz right now. That doesn't sound too bad. No. It's been a while. That was, that. That was turquoise. So Y'all got that one right. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Oh, Leslie's still in the lead. Just We're barely good. hanging on that lead. All right. All right. Here we Three. go. Number 10. How many? Oh, we got that many more. Seven. What type of crystal? Clear quartz, ruby, garnet, citrine. I'll give y'all a hint. That's not clear quartz. <laughs> That's a good hint. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I love games. We know. Did All they right. all get it? Uh, four people got that one right with ruby. Yep, that was actually a ruby. Who put garnet? Don't know. Okay. Nikki jumped up because Nikki had a three in a row streak. Whoa, she whoa. jumped into first place with that one. She All was right. fast on the draw. Next All right. one. Number 11. Number 11. What type of crystal is this? Oh, y'all better get this one. Mm, I think I know this one. You think? This one should be easy. Well, it could be tricky because we could try to trick you with another answer. Do y'all know which one? However, the tricky it's out of all those, the only one we do not have at Soultopia. Well, then you shouldn't wear it as a wedding ring because it amplifies everything. Yep. So if you're fighting, everybody got it right too. Is that a diamond? All right. And Nikki held onto that spot, but just barely. And it's a ten on the Mohs scale. Just FYI. What's the one? Talc. Talc. What type of crystal is this? Rose quartz, clear quartz, blue quartz, or ruby? Bum, bum, bum. That's a raw what? Crystal. I told Meredith to take one of those home for her dog. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Matt, those are really good for the dogs. Are Calms they? them down. Mm -hmm. where, do I, where do I put them? And the answer was rose quartz. Like outside quartz. their crate, if you know, if Let you get a big enough piece, you know, just so they don't mess with them. But she's like, if out by their crate or oh, wherever they, Mary by their jumped bed, up. She knew what it was because you talked to her about it. Yeah. But she's only ahead of Leslie by 11. They love them. 11 points? Yeah. And cats like, like amethyst. All right, so guys. I'm talking over you. All Here right. comes number 13. Number 13. Lucky 13. What type of crystal is this? On it, smoky, black rock, or garnet? Well, at least we can kind of bobblehead to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Two, one. And the, and answer, the answer is... is... Smoky Quartz. Everybody got smoky, that right. Smoky. Let's see who was fast on it, though. Kelly making a comeback. A three in a row. Way to go, Kelly. Nikki is... Still in first. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Question number 14. 
What type of crystal is this? Original question. Topaz, citrine, garnet, mm. or ruby? Three, two, one, and All that is a now? citrine. Mm -hmm. That's a the citrine, guys. Stone. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So okay. everybody got that right. And Nikki, yes, highest yes. streak of seven. Way to go, Nikki. But you're just barely ahead. Barely keep on going. I didn't know what that said over there. And I was like, did somebody write on the wall? What type of crystal is it? That was the wall, not yeah, the TV. Or, I didn't know. Fluorite, misspelled again. Uh, smoky quartz, onyx, or fluorite. <laughs> Whoever a did Florida this. crystal. Yeah. yeah, we did not do this one, obviously. Fluorite has a U-O. Not an O-U, right. but a U-O. That's correct. A U-O. Florida is the answer. <laughs> yeah, it tricked somebody. It got somebody that Florida did. The Florida uh, crystal. It's a fluorite. All right, so we got... Nikki's got a streak of eight going and still in first place. Y'all better knock her off. Nikki's the been taking top. tests for cybersecurity, y'all. She's fast now. I guess she takes tests. What type of rock is this? How about that? Changed it up on the Changed last one. Changed it up. Time. Onyx, molten lava, basalt, or magma? Magma. That's a weird one. Magma. It looks like it's got a little face in there. If Carla was watching, she'd say, Look at that face down at the bottom. <laughs> Do you see it or Neil? No. Maybe, see? yeah, I guess I do yeah. actually. That was basalt. Yeah. Uh, salt. So. Yeah. So. Oh, Mary jumped ahead because she had a streak six in there. And next is number 17. Last one. Last one. This is it. What type of crystal is this? Clear quartz, onyx, topaz, peach quartz. What's your best guess? It's that same rocket ship. Yeah, it is. We did not. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. We did not make this Clear rock. quartz. That is right. I like so, who make. is here and on the podium? Let's see. Third place goes to Leslie. Way to go, Leslie. Second place goes to Nikki. Okay. There you go. And first place goes to Merith. Way to go, guys. Y'all knocked it out of the park with that one. Ready. Well, it should have been easy because that was, you know, all about crystals. And we talk a lot about crystals, especially Michelle up here. I love them. You do? Okay. You do? Are we ready? Yeah. You want to? All right. So I got us a good one here, Matt. You're going to love this. This means it's going to be cryptid, y'all. Just get ready. It's going to be really good, Matt. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. It's going to be cryptids. I'm getting the game pin here, guys. It is 286552. And did we write so the orders down if we wanted? I just took a screenshot of it. Oh, it is 286552. So next game, game two. And put it in so here. So 286552. 286552. Bam. 286552. Yeah, 286552. I know there's more people watching now, so this is going to be a fun one, guys. So y'all jump playing? in. This is going to be fun. It's only 11 questions on this yeah, one. Yeah, all by you the have way. to do is get this app. It's so free. This is going to be fun. It's Kahoots. Kahoot. 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 I was out walking around talking on the phone the other day, Matt, and we over by the pool, they put a. Um, Birdhouse. It's actually kind of a big birdhouse, but mm -hmm. there's an owl living in it. In the birdhouse. In the birdhouse. There's a big old gray oh, owl living in the birdhouse. That was kind of crazy. Okay, are we ready? All right, guys. I see y'all joining in. Uh, so let's give it a minute. One more second. It's two eight six five five two Kahoot. Two eight six five five two to join in tonight. So, Anthony's been answering them all, but Anthony, can you get on uh, Come on, Anthony, get on there and, and join us. Angela, um, can you get on there? Why are y'all having trouble getting on? Get on so y'all can win. Anthony, you know how to do it because you and Roger did this in um, at News, right? Can y'all use this or no? No. No. Okay, so 
There's some other people playing along, but they're not on. Angela, Ethany, she's been it's getting okay. them all Maybe right. Maybe just trying to have some fun. Yeah, but you, you can have fun. But to win some gift cards and prizes, you got to be She said cool. they're making my old eyes strain. Ethany, I'm about 100 years older than you, sweetie. Put so. it on your phone. Nah, that way you don't nah, have to nah. worry about it. Yeah, do it on your phone. You well, project they, the phone to the TV and you can see, really see it there. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. This is game number two. Ready to go. Yeah, Leslie, I would be upset with you if you missed one of these. Yeah, this is going to be good to get. All right, here these we go. Are. This, these are. Oh, I go take a break. <laughs> I'm kidding. Average height of Bigfoot oh, okay. is. All right. Eight to nine feet, 12 to 13 feet, seven to eight feet, or 15 to 16 feet? That's a good question. That is right. I think I, I think hard I hard question. I know where I would put it. Okay. Yeah. And remember, speed counts. Yep, speed and accuracy. And stinkiness. I, I think this is going to get a couple of you. See there? What was your guess, Matt? I would say eight to nine feet. There you go. See, eight yeah. to nine That's feet is the answer. That's what I would say, too. I'd stick with Matt on that one. Yeah. Seven to eight is good, too. Though, yeah, but, uh, that was a I good mean, it's high. close. It's close. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So All we got right. Kelly, Kelly and Erica Rose in the lead there. Wait, wait. All right, here we go. All right. Question two. A long-haired Bigfoot, Bigfoot has a... Homozygous t dominant, what the heck, genotype, <laughs> what represents this genotype? B, little b, little b, big b, bb, caps, or bb, lowercase. Well, this is, uh, this is uh, actually difficult. A long this is actually Bigfoot tough, has a homo homogenous dominant genotype. Homozygous. What represents this genotype? I think I know, I think I know, just by knowing genetics, I think I know what this is. There you go. We got, you know what? Five what people it? got that no Five people got that answer well, right. I yes. think it was the two capital Bs, right? Uh, that's what I'm guessing. That's guess. right. Big yes. brother. A big brother. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm going to yeah. be going with BB, big so brother. Erica jumped in the lead. Kelly's right behind her, and Our Leslie's Benabelle. right there, too. BB, Benabelle win. <laughs> right, Ethany? Yeah. I'm going to go with the big B. The big, the big B. Double. Average shoe size is? Of Bigfoot? Is of, that of, Bigfoot? Of, of, of Bigfoot. Of Bigfoot. Size 10. He's eight to nine feet, size 10, size five, size 11, size 15. Hmm. So now we're gonna know if he has big feet proportional to his size, or are they little well, feet Well, his name is Bigfoot. Well, it's this true. is a good point. I mean, I, I feel like I know what the safe answer here is. Yes. Is that yes. in men's sizes or women's sizes? That would be in men's sizes. Okay, just have size to be accurate. 15, yeah. they're big feet, guys. They're like big Shaquille O'Neal big feet. For a so, big, we Maybe. have Kelly. Kelly. Kelly, Kelly's on a three streak Erica's answer. Erica's playing. Yeah, good. Erica's what, what, Erica. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. When was the first sighting of Bigfoot? Oh, well, this In is my backyard. That's right. I think I had a different one saved in here, and it must not have saved. That was actually better than this one. Oh, uh, sure. Sasquatching. I was joking. When was the last, when was the first one? 1918, 1980, 1818, or yesterday? Never. Mm. Never. 1818. I would say 1818, yeah. yeah. That's right. 18, I, well, because I know there's stories from the 1800s, so it had yeah. to be earlier than, yep. than that. We're going to fact check all these, too, yeah. just to make sure. Rose made a jump. Nikki made a jump on those. All right, guys, okay. here we go. Here we go. Sid, sir, excuse me, Edmund Hillary climbed to see Bigfoot. As he summited what mountain? Mount St. Helena or Helen? Mount Everest, Mount Olympus, or Bear Butt? Butte. <laughs> I know, I, Butte, when you I put an joking. E on the end, Dorcas. It was a joke. Do you know that one, Matt? Um, I, well, yeah. I think it was uh, Everest, right? Yeah, that's right, Mount that's Everest. Because I, I just, that's I didn't it. know because of Bigfoot. I just knew because. Mm -hmm. Hillary. All right. Hillary. So, no, Nikki. Nikki jumped up. I think that would be a Yeti, though, if that was yeah. the... Uh... Well, we are not that, that advanced. Here. All right, here comes question six in 1818. Angela's saying that the picture is so tiny on Facebook. Can't do anything about that. We got that. complainers in the house. Angela <laughs> and Mary. <laughs> Calling y'all out. Sorry. Um, first sighting was in this state. New York, Florida, Oregon, and state of mm. panic. <laughs> I'm going to say was. Oregon on that one. I'm going to just no. say... Mm -mm. Oh, really? New York. New York. York. New York was the correct answer. Because it was that Godzilla thing. And yeah. they just said it was Godzilla, but it was... That really was a tricky the, one there. Yeah. So explain. 
Do you know the story? No, I do not know the story. Okay, well, Matt, you'll have to figure that one out. Which right? state has the most sightings? It's got to be a little bitty picture on yeah. your phone. You don't really have Which to see the picture to get it right. Which state has the most sightings? Minnesota, Washington, Maine, Montana. The most sightings. And where are the craziest people? Hey. They live. That'll yeah, that's nice. right. It is Washington, Washington State. There you go. Washington State. All right. Well, lots of land out there, right? So Nikki, lots of forests. Nikki jumped to first, but only by one point. Kelly's right behind her, and Leslie's in third with Erica okay. there too. Here we go. All right. Question number eight: How many nice. sightings has Washington recorded? Mm. 541, 100, 1,973,888, say that, 832 and 759. Hmm. This is actually recorded sightings, recorded not just claimed sightings. sightings. Recorded sightings. Mm, recorded sightings. I know what I'm guessing. I guess green, 759. I'm going to say 541 on that one. The correct answer, 541. There we go. 541. Oh, good, man. Yep. That's right. Rose jumped up. Rose knew the answer to that one. Rose, jumped are up. you a Bigfoot lover secretly? Yes, she is. I didn't know. All okay. right. Question Next. number nine. What movie came out that came out in 1987 featured a Bigfoot? Titanic, Harry Potter and the Yeti, Harry and the Henderson, or Star Wars? God. Got to think about that one. I don't. Do you know the answer? Yeah. Star Wars. No, it's not. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it after. It's the blue one, you. Harry and the Hendersons. That's right, Harry and the Hendersons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew that. Yep. All right. Yeah. Mary, oh, Mary got a three three correct answer streak going, too. Nikki's in first, Kelly in second. Leslie's right behind them. Here we go. Question number 10. Okay. Bigfoot usually lives in what type of region? Beaches. Mountains, suburbans, big cities. Hmm. I've actually got that sign, Matt. Beaches, yep. mountains, suburbans, or big cities. Big cities. Well, I'm gonna be guessing <laughs> mountains. Business, business, Bigfoot lives yep. in big cities. That's right. <laughs> uh, well, New York. Correct answer is mountains. Mountains. And that was New York State. Oh, though. Mary, Mary's got four in a row. I would say Kelly forest, moved up. So. Worse. Kelly moved up to first. Way okay. to go, Kelly. How many more questions? Well, this is the last question. What is the only state not to have a sighting? Only sane state amongst us. Iowa. Iowa, Hawaii, Alaska, Oklahoma. Oh. Do you think it's Oklahoma? No. <laughs> okay. Because that was where we were going to go for your big, your birthday that Matt never planned. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to. I'm joking, Matt. Mm. Hawaii would be the correct Hawaii. answer to that. I think Hawaii's probably got their own they their own war. stuff out there. Yeah. Probably. Okay. So third place is third. Leslie. Second place is Nikki. And first place goes to da, 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 da. Kelly. Kelly. Way to go, Way to Kelly. go Kelly. Congratulations. Yes. Screenshot Ooh. there for you guys. And That's a good one. Yeah. Nice going. Nice, nice going. going, guys. All right. What are you going to do? Let me see it up. Let's see. Did you get the one that I did on there? Not the one. That oh, one. Damn it. I had because it doesn't one. work. Well, okay. I we'll have to figure that one out. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Do one of the Sotopia ones. Because at least we know how to spell. I just did this one. Let's see if this works. Mm -hmm. Somehow this oh, one will be messed up. Lord it be. Because I made this one while I was kind of sleeping. Really? Today. Everybody get ready to complain in the comments. Everybody get ready to this complain is a Michelle, about Michelle. This is a Michelle one, guys. <laughs> okay, this here we go. 100% Michelle, guys. This is all me. All right. Let's see. So d <laughs> get on the Cahoots app. And the, the app game pin is 791-264. 791 264. Music's a little loud. Yeah, it's a little loud. It is a little loud. Seven, nine, one, Michelle two, got six, it cranking. Four. Is that me? Oh, when I was watching a TV show on there. Okay. 791-264 for game three. Yep. Moving right along, aren't we? Yep, this is game three. Okay. Two, six, four. 
You remember? Third place gets a Sotovi gift card of $10. Second place, $15. And first place, $20 gift card. They so, add up. Yeah. That's right. Okay, we got some players. We got some, a few logging on. Log in, join us. 791264. Again, 791264 is the PIN number. Okay. Jump in there and let's see, see everything. See how much you know about Soul Topias. These are. Where are these glasses? How much from? you know about those? I love those glasses. Don't stretch them. My head's not big. Don't stretch. That was that place where we almost bought the got oh, the yeah. Bishop Arts place from, but we decided not to. Those glasses. Okay. Kelly, Meredith in Still there, got some Nikki, people Carla. On. This is gonna be game Erica, here, y'all. We got some players. Y'all, y'all gotta be Carla's fast fingers. Carla's with us. Hi, Carla Nichols. Got to have those fast fingers. Clicking, clicking, clicking. 791264. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, you ready to go? Ready, Matt? I'm ready. All right, here we go. We're going to start this game off. And just so y'all know, some of the ones playing along are doing a really good job, too, that aren't. Are they? I mean, yeah. Good. Angela Bryant, she's on the Get in here, score some points. Get some points and win something. All right, here we go. Which of these is known as Shoral? And I'm sorry if it's little on your phone. Oh, you don't have to see it. Citrine, scolocyte, lodestone, or black tourmaline? I wrote this one. It'll be a little harder. Because oh, this is for gosh. certification one. Citrine, scolocyte, lodestone, or black tourmaline? Which one of those is also known as shoral? Oh. The answer is shoral. Black tourmaline. Black tourmaline black is tourmaline the same is thing. Black tourmaline is shoral. Yeah. Shoral. Yep. Anybody get it? Yeah. My yeah. whole class? Carla, Nikki, and Merritt. Everybody that's certified. That's right. Carla was fast. She was like, Mary Gates, those how'd you miss that one? Okay. All right. Here we go. Which of these is not technically a crystal? Ametrine, amber, amigraine, amethyst. You know, what? the pictures have nothing to do with the question. So, which not a crystal? Ametrine, amber, amigraine, or amethyst? Why do you put meth on there? Would that because be I don't talk about stuff like that and bring that to my environment. Thank you very much. The answer is amber. Yeah, amber. That is correct. Amber it's is not a crystal. It's a living thing. It comes from. Yep. So we got some, uh, okay. some people moved up. Carla's still in the lead, All though. Right. Just got to think on these, y'all. Go. Okay. Question number Which three. Which of these helps with teamwork? I talk about it all the time. Pyrite, rose quartz, fluorite, which happens to be spelled correctly because I wrote it in Moonstone <laughs> and not some random, right? That's right. Pyrite, rose quartz, fluorite, moonstone. Which one of these helps with teamwork? Teamwork makes the dreams work. Which one? It's fluorite. Fluorite is the answer to that one. Mm -hmm. That's right. And fluorite. that we have talked about on the show many times. Oh, Nikki so. had a three correct answer and jumped up. Whoop, whoop. There's a way to go. Erica also jumped up. All right, okay. here comes question number four. Which of these was said to keep those at sea safe? A boat. Blue quartz, Laramar, Caribbean calcite, or aquamarine. See, I make these hard. Oh, that one you did. It's actually pretty. Well, one of those easy. you can actually knock out of there because it's not really that. It's right? not really that, and we'll they just you. really kind of started that a few years yeah, ago because it looked that color, right? That's right. It's aquamarine, y'all. Caribbean That's calcite's right. not really from the Caribbean. I do uh, think Laramar was a good choice, too, though. Got the, uh, so Laramar yep. was a choice, but it was actually aquamarine. Aquamarine is the correct answer. Make That's the, right. the mm. mermaids on the front of the ships and stuff would have aquamarine mm. on them. Mm. Yep. So yeah. we got Nikki, Merritt, and Carla. All right. Nikki, Here Merritt, we go. and Carla. Here we go. Question five. Which of these is not considered a money stone? Rhodochrosite, citrine, peridot, or pyrite? Y'all like my little pictures? <laughs> I do. Okay, it's not considered a money stone. Which one of these? If you are missing the, these, you want to take my crystal class. Zoltopia crystal class. That is correct. Rotocrosite. Rotocrosite. <clears throat> Rotocrosite. All right. The others we put in mojo bags all Very the time. Very jumped up. <coughs> Nikki's still in the lead, though. Nikki <clears throat> Nick. All right. Which of these is not typically considered a love stone? Rose quartz, kyanite, bronzite, or rhodochrosite? Not <clears throat> typically considered a love stone. Mm. 
You know that, right? Mm hmm Okay. Matt, you know it? Uh, I have a guess, but I don't know. And the answer, answer is bronzite. Is bronzite. Mm. Yep, bronzite. Mm -hmm. That could have been a tricky one there. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we now we have Nikki, Carla, and Erica in the top three. All right. Here we go. Question number seven. Which of these means glue and gold in Greek? Chrysoprase, you, covalite, calcindi, or chrysocolla? How do you work a... That's a glue. A glue bottle. Because it, it means glue and glue gold. And gold. I, why not? Okay. <laughs> Which one means glue and gold? And that's why I always tell people... If I'm going to say the, If you're the glue of the family, that's right. If you're the glue of the family or you bring people together, yeah. you're the kind of one who gets I people together. I think she tried to Chris trick y'all on that one. I like to do tricky yeah. questions. Nikki's back fun. with the three streaks. And so back in the lead with Nikki. Okay. All right, here we go. Number eight. Which of these oopsie contains <laughs> asbestos? Mm. So, see my picture? That's Celestite. Nice. Or celestite, blue tiger's eye, blue calcite, blue kyanite. And just for the record, it's not enough to hurt you. Just don't put it in your water. You need to check toxicity. So which one okay, contains, and it's what gives it its color. Would it be blue? It's blue tiger's eye. Blue tiger's eye. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Ox eye. Yep. All right. Carla has a five streak in a row. Woo, Way Carla. to go, Carla. <clears throat> okay, right. question number nine. Which one of these is good for kids who are accident prone? Look at the picture. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's blue, Michelle's a kid, guys. Blue calcite, <coughs> blue agate, blue topaz, blue tiger's eye. It's also said to be one of the best first crystals. Does for it work for kids. adults who are accident prone? It would. I could, I could exactly. Use that. Yeah. Um, and kids love this one because of the color of it. They all say blue, but it's blue agate. Blue agate. It's known as the best first crystal to give. That's right. A kid. Oh. If they like walk into walls way to, and stuff. Yeah. Way to go, Carla. Jumped Carla, into the lead. Jumping in the lead. That's right. She took my classes. Yeah, she did. And she took copious notes. Which of these is good to calm anxiety and actually contains lithium? It's the number one source of lithium. Lapidolite, green aventurine, selenite, or amethyst? Several of them do calm you, but they don't contain lithium. Only one. Lipidolite. Lipidolite. Correct answer would be lipidolite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's see here. Carla, seven streak in a row. Way to go. She's still in number one with it's Nikki and Erica good. right this, behind her. This isn't an easy quiz. There's no. some tough ones on here. Yeah, that's right. Tough answer. All right. Which of these is Michelle called the crystal sage, and somebody even asked me how to light it? Yeah. Halite, euperite, shugalite, or selenite. How do you light it? You don't. Jet That's fuel. A point. Jet fuel. How light? Euperite? Should you light? It's actually sugalite because of That's the right. guy's name. It is his, the answer is selenite. The answer is selenite. And Did they all get it? Meredith moved up into third. Nikki's in second, and Carla's still in the lead. Okay. And now and here Nikki comes the last is, question, guys. Which of these is a soda light discovered in Michigan? Euperite, Eupernite, Euperlite, or Eupersite? <laughs> Could you have made that any more difficult? No, I wanted it to be hard. I like hard questions. And the UP stands for Upper Peninsula. Euper, that's where they got that from. Mm, very cool, very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so the correct answer is Uber Light. light. Uber light, light. And I have that one of those on. You three, got, three of y'all got that correct, just so you know. So third place is Merith. Way to go, Merith. Second place is going to be you. Carla. Nice going, Carla. And first dark. place oh, cool. is going to go to Nikki. Way that was, to go, I had Nikki. More questions. Well, that's all you had in here? Well, I didn't save them because I had a whole lot more than that. You did? Mm -hmm. No, that's all you had in here. Okay. Go over that, what we our products of the week are there. Okay. Yeah. So we have some say, um, some incense, and it is called Caribbean. I can't read that. Can you read that? No. Caribbean no, something? Oh, it's Caribbean spice. Spice. And so I'm sure that it smells spicy like the Caribbean. And um, and then we have, is that pre-night again? 
that we had out there? No, it looks like pre-night. I thought we had pre-night last week. Mm, okay, so nope. pre-night's the healer stone to the healers. Uh, it's also a great heart chakra stone. It's good for all kinds of things. And then we've got so Anya. I don't ever sell that spell. Say that right, Anya. And that one is it's love magic, protector of women and animals, brings abundance. It's got citrine, rose quartz, and purple aventuring, y'all. That's a really pretty bracelet. And then the pre night, which I could have sworn we had last week, but. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. No, it was Garnet. Wasn't it oh. Garnet? Yeah, that sounds no right. I think it was that Garnet. So pre-night, and well, I was writing about it. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. and it, I think of it as the, the healer to the healer stone, yeah. but it's pretty high ascension, and um, it does all kinds of stuff, communication, yeah. uh, heart-related things. Yeah, okay? okay. But if you do any healing work, then you have to have pre-night or should. Okay. I've got I a, tried to take this next one. It's kind of tricky. This one is? Well, What's we did three. Man? We did three already, right? And it's we did three. So we did three. Do you all want to do a bonus round since we got a few more? I got a short yeah, one here. It's got playing. This has got 10 questions on it. Yeah. We got time for a short one. Okay. Let's do this one with I'm 10 questions. Two, because I want another crystal one. I don't know why you cut mine short. That was a really good one. <sighs> okay. All right. That's a good one. But do one of ours, because those right, other guys. ones are dumb. This one is going to be pin number 48731. Pin number 48731. Okay. 48731. Alrighty. Okay, guys, join in. This was just 10 questions. 10 questions on this one, so it'll be short and sweet. It should give us up to our 7 th or 8.30 time. The little clock in front of us still says 7.30. Okay. There we go. So well, I one, think we're going to cram in one more round. Because I depend on which one you chose. No, this, this is the is last that, one. One more crystal one. No. No, one, one short tarot one. one. We don't have one. Yeah, we do. No, we I don't. I saw it. <clears throat> I saw it. I did. All right, guys. I miss all these. That was the whole plan. <clears throat> Carl is on. Yeah. Is everybody on now? So it okay. looks like we got quite a few people on. So this pin, that game pin was 48731. Mm -hmm. Again, 48731. It's up on the screen if anybody needs it. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, big, right there. Okay, here we go. All right, ready to go, guys? Yep. Here we go. Let's start this game and I'll get try. this round going. They're going to be little, y'all. You got to look at the pictures. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. I think you do. Name these okay, cryptids. Okay, here we go. Name this famous cryptid creature. Hmm, okay. Yeah, see? Oh. Can y'all see it? Is this Sasquatch, Loch Ness Monster, Gugway, or the Jersey Devil? Is Gugway really one? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that one. Yeah. Did you make this? No. I went through it, though. Okay. That's Loch Ness. Loch Ness mm -hmm. monster. Could y'all right. see it? Because we didn't make these. Okay. <clears throat> Erica's one. in the lead. <clears throat> hey, Erica. All right, next one. Yep. Number two. Number two. This Native American style art depicts what famous cryptid? The dodo bird, the sun god, thunderbird, or crow? Do you know the answer to this? I do. Good. Mm -hmm. This one, they it could be the, wrong, but the I know totem the answer. With it. But I think they're I know. on the top of the totem poles a lot. Okay, is it Thunderbird? It is Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Okay, that good. is correct. Yeah, it is right. Thunderbird. That's right. I thought I thought it. I wasn't hundred percent sure if All I had right. that one right. Or Erica's not. holding on to that lead. Nikki jumped up. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. This cryptid is Native American origins and rumored to take several forms. That's your hint, Gugway. Chupacabra, Sheep Squatch, or Skinwalker? I've seen some. There's a whole series. You've watched that map mm -hmm. on these? Um, what's uh, and the, the ranch? 
Yes, the ranch. Skinwalker, yeah. right? Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker That's right. That place ranch. is wild. That place is really interesting. If it you is. haven't watched that doc, there's a couple of different documentaries, but uh, I think the ones that yeah. I've seen are, are all pretty good. Why can't we make a trip out there? We can. All right, well, let's go. Okay. Can you go out there? I thought it was kind of locked down. I think oh, it I is. just meant like can. I think, I think it's, it's government owned, now. right? Or is yeah. It, yeah. I thought it was. Well, it's private. It's privately owned now. Yeah. It'd be an adventure. Yeah. Okay, next. So let's we'll see be. who's. Oh, Nikki, she's on a three in a row street. Got that one right. You get that streak going, you get moved up, right? Get That's extra right. points. And then Erica and Carla, right behind her, though. Okay. I mean, like, right behind her. Name this favorite, famous, excuse me, cryptic creature. I had a little trouble seeing this. Is it that one is Sasquatch, mm, Mothman, Thunderbird, or Swamp Babe? I think, I, by process of elimination, I can get this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I also read, it's was not it Greg's a Thunderbird. book? Greg Larson? Oh, yeah, Greg's. Yeah, yeah. has a book on this. I bought it. Mm-hmm. Mothman, right? Mothman, that's yeah. right. That yeah, is right. The book is sitting right. There's a whole movie. Bed. There's a really like a mainstream movie made about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's good. Yeah, Carla jumped in the lead. Guys, told y'all y'all had to be close in there. Carla okay. jumped up. All right, guys. Here, question number five. Which of the following is not a common name for this cryptid creature? Mm. Not Sasquatch, Jersey Devil, Grassman, or Wood Bugger. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I can narrow it down to two. Really? It's just yeah. one. Well, I know, but I'm just trying to think. Because the one is something else. Oh, don't, don't. What is it, Matt? Oh, that is not a Jersey Devil. No, nope, yeah. not a Jersey okay. Devil. Okay. Also, oh, I would have. That's why, because I, that's why that tricked me. Because Jersey, you have talked about Jersey Devil mm-hmm. as something that's else. That's right. Before. We've talked yeah. about that. Yeah, that is a different cryptid. Mm-hmm. Although I would have said Wood Booger. I don't think I've heard Wood Bugger, I've, but. Yeah. They um, probably misspelled it because they spelled the wrong, too. Yeah. Uh, Nikki jumped in the lead just barely above Carla, and then Mary right behind them. Okay. All right, here we go. Thanks. Question number six, guys. Six. Across the Midwest, part of the nation's sightings of this creature are occasionally reported. Mm. Across the Midwest, I can't see it. Holy it's cow. The pterodactyl, the giant chicken, the velociraptor, or the sauropod. Oh yeah, that picture's hard that's a, to see. That's a small right. picture, but I do know. I, I, I do know. I've seen this picture hint? before, though. I mean, without <clears throat> this picture's been. That? It's, a this flying, it's a flying creature. Okay, it's flying. so it's flying. Yeah, yeah. it has definitely Is been it a giant around. chicken. Uh, it's pterodactyl. 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 I didn't know that yeah. was. I thought that was like a dinosaur thing. It is. Oh. It is. They thought. I see that a lot around Thunderbirds, but I guess yeah. they think it might be could be either. Yeah, exactly. Because for a long time, they kind of mixed the two, Thunderbird and Pterodactyl, saying that that's, they were the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, number seven. But we had some people get that right. Well, y'all are smart. So we still have, I mean, Mary I don't jumped know. up, so Mary must smart, have got smart, that smart. right. Wait I don't know here. how big this is on the, uh, this is on the website. It may be bigger on your phone. So yeah. if you're playing on your phone, you may see these just fine. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, the next one is. Can't control that, though. Name this famous cryptic creature. Okay, I can see it. The Jersey Devil, the Wendigo, Dogman, or Swamp Ape? Um, I'm having a hard time seeing that, but I think I know. I know what that would be. It's guess got antlers. That. Yeah. It, it's got kind of a pointed mouth with sharp teeth. Yep. If you can't see it. That's kind of like. And the answer I is. I would say the Wendigo on that. Wendigo, that's okay. correct. Wendigo. It wouldn't have mattered if I saw the picture. Mary jumped oh, into first. She's uh, Mary got a Mary three knows streak. Her cryptids. There we go. Nikki and Meredith right behind her. Way to okay. go! All right, All right here, we go. here we go. Number eight, guys. Name this favorite cryptid creature: a fairy, a Texas mosquito, a thunderbird, or a gugway. I do not want that thing in my house. It looks like a crane fly. I hate to tell it you. It does. But. <laughs> I call them mosquito eaters. You kind of do have those things in the house. Ew, yeah. Don't. Like those mosquito eaters? Okay, and the answer is? I, I guess a fairy. It's a yeah. fairy, that's a fairy, but that's an ugly looking fairy. I need to look up and see if this Ew. other thing is, is real. I didn't like that one. Let's see. Nikki was faster than Mary on that one. Okay. Meredith got three in a row. She's back in the game. All right, here we go. This is number nine, guys. Another famous one. The Jersey mm. Devil, Pterodactyl, Wendigo, or Chupacabra? Do you know this one? Chupacabra, right? I said yep. Chuba, Chupacabra. 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 That's not. Chupacabra. It has wings. 
So we deal with flies. And the answer is? The Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil. I That's need right. to do a little studying on the Jersey Devil because those are the and ones Mary's I see. Mary's got the, the highest streak of all, five in a row. Way to go. Wasn't Just, that the last question? Nope. Here comes the last question, last guys. Question. Here's another fellow you don't want to meet. What's his name? Well, some people want to. Mm. Spider Monkey, Feral Dog, Chupacabra, or Dog Man? There you go. Spider Monkey. All jacked up old Mountain Dew like a spider monkey. <laughs> That's the dog man. That's the dog man. That's dog right. man. Which is kind of like a werewolf, guys. Yeah, yeah I look like the, a werewolf. Yep. Or the Rougarou if you're in yep. Louisiana. The Rougarou. That's right. So is it kind of right. thought of so like a number... werewolf? Mm -hmm. So here comes our winners. Third place is going to be Merritt. Merit. Third. Second place, Mary. Mary Gates. And first place goes That's gotta be to Nikki. me. Oh, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki. Way to go, Nikki. Okay. Screenshot this one. Bam. So what yeah. up was Carla and Leslie. Way to go, guys. Okay. Apparently, I had never heard this, but yeah, apparently the Gugway is r real, although it's not spelled that way. It's spelled G U G W E. And it's somewhat like a Bigfoot or a, a dog man or something hmm. like that. Kind of a cross. Yeah. Um, most most it looks like most say it's a little bit more beastly than a than a a bigfoot so that's why they yeah. call it like a bear or a dog creature yeah yeah oh that makes sense okay makes sense for sure all, all right. right well that was our that last one that went by fast well it was an hour i know but it went by fast because games are fun yes it is mm -hmm. so right. uh, on the second Tuesday of each month, we will do games, and at some point we'll get Michelle's game it's actually loaded Tuesday. where it actually works. He's got Tuesday a really good month. or third Tuesday, yeah, third Tuesday of each month we do game night, and Michelle has a really good one for us to do with Coots, but for I'll some reason it. it it keeps kicking an error in there. Error number thirty-eight. Yeah, you might have to remake that one. So we'll I think some, we got to we'll rebuild that up. one. We'll do other types of questions too, not yeah. just crystals. We have tarot. We have all kinds of stuff. Herbs, essential oils. They were all on there. Yeah, exactly. Um, so and we'll get with y'all tomorrow. And um, I screenshot everybody for those winners. Way to go! Nice, nice job. Well Good done, job. everybody. And we will uh, get those gift cards emailed out. And we didn't say on the on the um, thanks, Sally Rose. It was fun. Y'all did great. On the, I'm not, Roger might have said, but on the incense, it's a buy one, you have me that incense, it's yep. buy one, get one. The, the tumbled stones, and those are great pre nights, or buy mm -hmm. one, get one. And then the bracelet is 25% off. That's good. Yep. So. And the bracelet's really pretty. Yep. Y'all see? And I don't know if y'all saw me, saw me showing the Uperite that we were talking about earlier. Um, we had the UV light and it was dark, you can see, but it's, Soda lights found everywhere, but it was found in Michigan, Michigan. and that's how oh. they named it, Upper Peninsula, so mm -hmm. Uper Light. Yep, Uper Light. Uper Light. That's it. And it glows in the dark, just like all soda mm -hmm. light, right? That's right. Okay, so any well, announcements? It, um, we This Sunday is the Sotopia Psychic Fair. Uh, those will be set up and emailed out tomorrow or in the morning, so watch your emails and text to be able to sign up early and uh, book your sessions. So we got a lot of great people going to be in here doing readings and healings this weekend. So, yeah, you want to come by Sotopia and hang out, have a good time. But you won't be here. I will not be here because I'll so be no headed to New York. Us. I'll be uh, headed to New York to do a uh, reader studio for the following weekend. Yeah. Is he driving? Because mm. I'm going to drive up there. So is that going to affect the show for next week? Do we know yet? What we're going to do? Remotely. Because it's do it. usually yeah. just a topic on the yeah. first Remotely or do... Michelle can do it by herself. Hmm. I'll be here. Michelle will be here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I I think. Maybe, maybe we'll have a guest. Well, will you be here? I don't know. We'll figure that out. Okay, well, let's not figure all that out. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll figure something we'll figure out. It out. Um, and show, Matt, something. we'll figure it out. Hopefully tonight yeah. or tomorrow. Sure. Uh, all to right. let you know. So, okay, guys. So, so thank you all for joining us. Uh, do you, well, do you have anything else? Mm -mm. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us tonight. And hope everybody has a great week and weekend. And make sure you uh, follow us. Give us a like. Give us a you know, a share and let all your friends know to join us next time. Good night. See you guys. Bye.